Bam! Welcome to Chef of Sweden. In today's episode, we're gonna do something different. But first of all, I gotta warn you all guys, you know? I noticed that Malaysian people are very sensitive when you like criticize or have an opinion about their food and such. So listen, I'm a chef. I'm honest, you know? I gotta speak my mind. I gotta say my opinion. I'm not like this other YouTubers, this food YouTubers like Mark Wiener or Mark Wines or whatever his name is. He everything he eats is oh my thing. Be eating like cat food and say, oh it's amazing. I don't roll like that. I speak my mind and I'm and I try to be honest, you know. So anyway, in this episode, I gotta rip some place apart, you know. This was the worst place I eat in so far in Malaysia. It's my honest opinion. Don't go here because you just waste your money. It's not worth it. It sucked, you know. But anyway, so I'm just gonna be honest and tell you the truth about this. So if you're like getting offended. Move along, this episode is not for you. But anyway, today's episode, we're gonna go to the ex more expensive place in the KLCC area. And then we're going to the pavilion and we're going down to the food court and we're gonna eat some like, more of like restaurant food and we're gonna compare it to the street food. And we're gonna see who's best, you know? And before we start this, you know, they are probably gonna be like a lot of like haram polices here and gonna be like, oh, you know, it's haram to criticize food and talk bad about food. Before I did these things, I actually talked to my teacher and he talked to his teacher who's like an ulama, a scholar in Egypt and he, and he told us like, what you're doing is not haram because if someone gives you food and you don't like it, shh, be silent, don't complain. But if you buy food and you pay for it, then you can uh, say the, your honest opinion about it because then it's a business deal. So then you're telling people about the business deal and telling them where to spend their money. Was it worth the money or was it not worth the money? And this is what I'm doing. I'm not talking about the food. I'm talking about, is the food worth the money? I'm talking about the restaurant because we're paying a lot of money for these things. You know, many places are just ripping us off just like because it's in a fancy building and blah, blah, blah. They should pay like extreme crazy pr prices. <laughs> what? So anyway, welcome to today's episode. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, especially if you're like sensitive and such, but I gotta be honest, after all, I'm a European professional gourmet chef. I was the student of Anton Levine. Oh yeah! And uh, Christos Vanteson. Shout out. What up, brother? Bro. Bro. Bam! Welcome, chefs of Sweden. And today we're here in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. And we're gonna go and uh, look at this food court. Pavilion, right? Yeah, so we're gonna go up here and here, so come along. Basically, I'm a doctor. What? Because I make just as much money as a Malaysian doctor on my YouTube. So I'm basically a doctor. A YouTube doctor, right? Mommy told me never to lie. So I will be honest. You're the ugliest person I've ever met. We got some good news today. Yeah, we got some good news today. The cameraman, Ping Ping, Ping Pong, Ping Wing, he's converted to Islam and he's gone full Michael Jackson. He's white now and this is the guy. Hello, Ping Ping. <laughs> Hello, I learned English now. Very nice. <laughs> I don't want them to think that's racist. We gotta go downstairs. Here we go, the cafeteria at Pavilion Mall. What should we try? Okay, bam! So we are here now in the Pavilion food court and we just gotta check everything out and we're gonna see what we're gonna have. Ni hao, sorry. So we're gonna check it out and just gonna take like, we don't even have a, like a real plan. We're just gonna see what it got and we're gonna take whatever looks fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Here I got some, I don't know what it is. It's like pe Peking Anka, Peking Dog or something. I don't know, bro. I'm not a Chinese chef. Yeah, exactly. Western cuisine. How is this Western cuisine? This is Western. It is? Yeah. No, it's not. I'm gonna take this hot, hot, honey glazed, and what is combo too? I don't understand these things. What? It's in English. What are you talking about? This guy is talk Korean with me, so I talk Swedish with him, you know? So this is the second place. The first one was Korean, uh, Korean, uh, I don't know, Korean. This one is Nasi Kandar, Nasi Kandar. 
I don't know. We'll find out. Self serve. Bro, you're cold. This one is looking very nice. <laughs> you want one? No, it's okay. Are you gonna get like rice or something? Yeah, of course, bro. But do you want one of these? Right. Yeah, maybe. Do they have one here? Okay, I'll just take one. a small, a small piece. What? Just a small one. Hi. All right, and I want one plate with rice and such, with like rice and you have a, you have something here that's spicy? Some all spicy. All spicy. Yes. Okay. What? What is what? This one mutton. This one pig. What do you say this one is? This one pig. This one mutton. It's cat. This one meat. Huh? Meat, meat. Meat? Yeah, oh, yeah duh. <laughs> what kind of meat? Beef, beef. Beef, okay. What is this? Cat? Chicken. Chicken, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> take chicken. Yeah, take spicy chicken and rice. Is it halal, the cat? No, it is not, but the animal is still here. It's clean, but you can't eat it. You look like a lost puppy. Bro, I don't understand. What do you got there? Cat? Halal cat. You gotta find a spot. You gotta find a spot. Okay, there, that guy's leaving, man. We know he's a chef, but is he a waiter? How many plates of food can he carry? And they think he's ordering this for a family, but actually he is a family. I'm a family, bro. Think that's it? It's not it. There's more food coming. That's the scary part. And uh, Yusuf could eat all this probably within two minutes. I don't know how this guy doesn't uh, die of a heart attack. May Allah protect him. Reviewing the Korean food and nasi kandar, that's like mama Malaysian Indian food. Yo, bro, Here you know comes, what he did? more food. He microwaved it. Oh yeah. No, bro. That's chef style. <laughs> he kind of like molested the whole thing, you know? Now this one's probably going to be overdone and such. Like chewy. The thing I found funny here is that when you order this much food, they think it's for like a whole family, but then they realize it's just one person eating. Bro, yeah, and but they can't imagine. Yeah, that. You know, like, you know, I'm like the Swedish, Swedish champion in boxing. You know, I eat a lot. It's like, wow, you know. I always watch your videos, by the way. You did. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. You saw that? I'm good. I always watch your videos. Ah, nice, nice. You guys see? Well done, man. You eat all that? Yeah, bro. For me. Sorry, bro. Nice to see you. Take care, brother. All right, take care. Take care. Sorry, bro. This guy's famous. Bam, you know, I'm famous, man. What are you, you know, you know what it is. I got hyped up now. I, I think I'm. Don't touch me, anyone. I'm famous. Okay, first of all, man, I love Korean chicken. I gotta try this, but I need some napkins. Yeah, there's a sink right there. Yeah. Well, there's right. no napkins. Yeah, no napkins, bro. Okay, what is this? Korean chicken, hot, hot. For a normal person, they would think this is crazy hot. Okay, this one. Man, it was really nice. Super crisp, very hot, sweet. The first thing that hits you is like the sweetness, the chili, ginger, garlic, the crunch, bro, the consistency, everything is just spot on. Oh yeah! What is this? There's something different. Did you just eat the bone too? Yeah, bro. Bro, what is this? I hope it's not pork, man. <laughs> nope. Korean is not a Muslim country. Uh, you said everything here is halal, bro. Inshallah, I hope so. Bro, you said it. Come on, man. I was thinking it is. <laughs> cool, bro, don't mess with me now, yo. Okay, both of them spot on. <clears throat> to be honest, I can't tell what this is. You know, some Korean flavor. It's chicken though, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's chicken. But two types of chili. Okay. I saved that for you, man. There's gotta be honey glaze. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Mm. The first that strikes you is the honey, of course. Ginger. It's a lot of ginger in them. I only have that, like, gingerbread flavor. It's very crunchy. Also spicy, but not like that. My diet starts tomorrow. Oh. Yo, you've been saying that for like a month now. Yeah. 
<laughs> what, you don't eat salad? Is that supposed to be salad? Is that Korean salad? Cabbage. Like, this is just like cabbage with like some mayo sauce. Nothing special really. Korean versus Malaysian. I'm this gonna is see Malaysian that. Indian, Nasi Kandar, Mamak style. This one, he microwaved it. Why did he do that? Yeah, now it's a little bit chewy. Man, why did he do that? Are you serious? That's not mine. That's a big black curry num num here from India. Oh my god. In Western countries, they'll send it back. Yeah, this In Malaysia, one, if you send it back, they'll be like, no, we don't do that here, sorry. If this were in Europe, they'll just take it off here. If this were in Europe, I would give it back. They would give me my money back or a new partner. This one looks like a face hugger from like alien or something. But it tastes just like squid. You know, it's, it's actually nothing really special into it. It's like, it tastes like squid. The sauce doesn't even taste that much. What are you filming, bro? It is, no? Hmm? It's filming. Yeah, but what are you filming? Because you're filming that way. No, I'm filming you. Actually kind of destroyed it when he like microwaved it. Chili flavor. Same here. Garlic, ginger. They have sugar in this one. They have sugar in this one. Like, they have sugar in everything in Malaysia almost, but like a lot here. And the big prawns. They're like deep. They're like fried with like some starch on top. I don't really know. Ah, oh. Mm. Yeah. I never ate the shells until I came to Malaysia. Here they don't take off the shells, right? I saw like one time on Jamie Oliver a long, long back. It's not like if you fry them, they get really crunchy, you can eat them. So then I tried it, you know, because you can feel like when, it, when it's crunchy and when you can, when you can like eat it. This one you can just eat, it doesn't even feel weird. It's just like crunchy. Man, I'm eating like a, I don't know, just stuffing my face. But I'm saving stuff for you, you know, I'm that kind of brother. Mashallah. This is what he's saving. But I gotta say. I'm disappointed at this, you know? This was not so good, you know? It was like kind of like, doesn't taste so much. It's just like, I don't know, tandoori color. This is like tandoorian. Anyway. It doesn't really taste that much. You want some of this? Uh, it's okay. Not we also have that one, huh? That one has spiced on it, so it yeah. might taste different. It's the same thing, fried, uh, fried chicken, but they put some green stuff on it. People are staring at me. There's a slightly obese girl behind you staring at me. She's getting jealous. It's not that good actually. Just, just like juicy chicken, but it doesn't taste anything. It just looks good, but... It no, looks man. all red and golden. Yeah, but it doesn't taste anything. But I don't want to throw it away, huh? You know, everybody, since your last video, everyone's asking about uh, Ping Ping. Yeah, what, what about it? What Ping Ping? Ping Ping, I, I, I ditched Ping Ping, to be honest, you know. He it was, it was taking care of my cat. This is Chinese, there was some problems with my cat. This is a true story, Ping Ping was taking care of my cat. And it was an incident, I don't want to talk about it, but I got the cat back, I'm the light safe. That's all I want to say about that. And it's a true story, I'm not lying. No, bro. What was the name of this place? Nasi Kandar. Nasi Kandar Pavilion Mall. No good? Why are you making those faces? You're not going to throw up, are you? No, bro. They put it in the microwave and it's all like overdone and it's just like watery in a bad way. It's not like juicy anymore. So you're like, man, I don't, I don't want to eat this. It's not that I'm full. I can eat this. But man, it took like 100 ringgit for this. Yeah. I don't recommend this place. You should not go there. This place was actually... The Korean was 40 ringgit, yeah. right? I, okay, I'm gonna come to the Korean one. I gotta, the Korean was... But this, bro, I got ripped off. So if you ever go here, don't go to that place. Don't go to that place. It sucked. Maybe there'll be a redemption with the rice and chicken? I hope so, bro. It's not flaw. I, I, I don't wanna throw away things. 
Hard work, bro. But yeah, that was a rip off. I'm saving this part for you, man. All right. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna eat that, but. Yeah, you're, you're probably gonna do it. You gotta be a brother and help me, man. It was not that good, bro. It blend, didn't, no flavors. All right, what about this one? Subhanallah. I think it's like steam this or something. What? I did like steam this because there's no no flavor. Like steam without any spices. Nah bro, this also sucks. This one he did in microwave though. It came like that. Yeah, but it doesn't taste much. Just just like normal yellow Indian curry that you buy like in the supermarket. Bro, to be honest, these food courts compared to the street food, they suck. Oh man. The rice needs like salt and some flavors because this was like something I would give to like if my father gets really old and he can't chew and he has a very sensitive mouth, I would give him this. It looks like it tastes something. It looks like it's tasty. But it's not. It's absolutely not. Bro, I can't, I, can, I, I won't finish that, I won't, bro. Back to the Korean stuff? Yeah. You wanna film my reaction of this stuff? Yeah, okay. Oh. Which one's spicy here? That one's Cause spicy. I don't really eat a lot of spicy stuff, so. Yeah, this is really spicy. Was good, right? It tastes nice though. It's super spicy, or like good. It's good, it's yeah. spicy, but still tastes good. Yeah, baby. Put it in your mouth. There are no bones in it. You can just swallow the whole thing. You can just oh. gobble it. I thought you were eating the bones. <laughs> you think I would eat bones like that? I don't know. You do weird things sometimes. You yeah, eat like seeds of fruit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's nice. Garlic. Like it? Yeah. yeah. I like the spicy one better. Yeah, the spice one was the best. It almost feels like, you know, gingerbread. Yeah, too much uh, ginger. Yeah. This is the honey one, I think. Yeah. Wait, wait until you taste the other thing. This stuff? This just looks good. Did you eat this whole thing in one bite? Yeah. That means I have to do the same as you, or what? I think so, yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't take the head, bro. <laughs> huh? Take the head. <laughs> you take the head. <laughs> you disgust me. <laughs> you disgust me. <laughs> You're a disgrace. I'm in the ballad. Put the lotion in the basket. Yeah, try that one. That head was really good. But seriously, what did the head taste like? Was it was much flavor? The brains. Huh? Tastes like brains. How do you know what brains taste like? Relax. Just want to take some pictures. Never heard of Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah. Was my neighbor in Milwaukee. For real? Mommy told me never to lie. So I just ate this whole head, huh? Yeah. I didn't even realize that there was a head on it. No, you see, I put all my heads here. Like this. I ate the whole thing with the head. Yeah, then you just bite the whole thing. That's horrible. I don't know why you were complaining about this. It tastes normal, but yeah, it doesn't have a lot of taste. Wait till you get to the chicken. I still have the head in my throat. What? I still have the head of the shrimp in my throat. See, for real? Does that sound bad? Yeah. So how about the chicken, bro? It's okay. Not really spectacular, but it tastes like chicken. Yeah, but does it taste anything more than chicken? I'll try this rice. You said this rice was no good. Yeah. I'll try. Actually, the rice is like overcooked. Yeah. You can see it's like uh, it's crumbling. A ball. I don't know. It has something in it, like uh, no a flavors. clove or something. Does it have like a clove in it or something? It gave me a weird aftertaste, like cinnamon or something. I don't know. No, I, I think it's like a aftertaste of nothing. Yeah, the chicken tastes like nothing. This. Yeah, taste that one, bro. You gotta be. I I can see you're honest, though. Keep on doing that. 
I don't like that. I have some soup. This is from the Korean place. I don't like that. It tastes fishy. <laughs> this was the best thing. Yeah. Now I've been snacking on it, you know. We gotta pray though. Yeah. Alright, like so we've ended this one. There's that. This one was too this one was no, we're not I'm not finished this one. You wanna finish it? Okay bro. Where are you going man? We're gonna pray. We're gonna pray for better food. Okay, so this was the place that we ate, you know, and I gotta be honest. When it comes to, to Korean food, I've been eating Korean food a couple of times, and I gotta be honest, this was the worst Korean food I ever had in my life. But it was good, but not bad, so it was okay. So I give him 2.5. Nothing more, nothing less. And if we go to this place, yeah, this place, Nasi Kandar. We gotta be honest about this place, this was the worst place I've eaten so far in Malaysia. And all the food I've been eating in Malaysia has been really good, but this place, don't go here because you just waste your money. It's not worth it. Hit the streets food instead. Malaysian food are really good, but they give the Malaysian food a bad name. It's me as a professional chef. Don't go there. It's just a ripoff. Go to the street. Go to the Malaysian street food. Bam! Effect! Wow, that was pretty cold. I think you broke a lot of people's hearts with that. I got, yo, I gotta be honest. I forgot to give Nasi Kandar a review. I give them one out of five because it sucked. It was not good. It was food, alhamdulillah, but I can't like really judge, like, bro, if you're gonna be honest, I pay for this. If they would give me the food for free and I didn't like it, I would say nothing, I would be, I would be quiet. But since I pay for this, this is a business deal. And I gotta be honest, this business deal was terrible, it was not worth the money. I paid 100 ringgit for this, and I didn't even want to finish it. What did you just say? How can people let their wives walk around like this, like half naked? Bro, it's kind of like, I don't know, what? He thinks the street food here is tourist food. Yeah, it's tourist I hope food. Malaysians can comment. He says you can't get good food in downtown KLCC area. Okay, it's like this, bro. Let me, let me spit some fact for you. When it comes to Malaysian food, you don't find it here in KLCC. The food here is basically just for tourists. They just want to sell it. You eat it once time. They don't want you to come back. They don't need you to come back with so many tourists here. So that's why the food in this area sucks. So we gotta get out of here, bro. Bam, bam, bam! So, now we're outside of that KLCC terrible nightmare food place and we're out on the street. And this is where we're finding real food. This is that cheap stuff, that real good stuff. So now we gotta see what's best, the tourist food or the real food, the expensive or the cheap? I think I know, but I gotta be honest. Bathroom is it over here or the bathroom is on the street, bro? Yeah, because we do it like in in India, you know, on the straight on the street. <laughs> Bam! What's up? Check this out, man. If you compare this a lemon ringgit with the Coca-Cola, if you compare this to the thing with we have in, in the Pavilion, the price here is much lower. We gotta see if the price matches that, you know? This was way better, bro. I'm telling you, this was way better. Man, this is like sweet, spicy, filled with coconut milk. It has this very typical Malay flavors, you know? If you take Thai food, but would make it more like creamy, this is this. Man, and you have these eggplants here. Man, not in my microwave. Bro, it's like... Bro, you can't compare it, to be honest. You can't compare this with that thing we got in the food court in Pavilion. This is so much better, I don't even know how to express myself. And when it comes to Malaysian food, you should eat it out on the streets. Don't go to the tourist places. This is where you find the best place, you know, here in the streets. And you don't pay. You pay less and you get better quality. Bro, you want to taste something? Bismillah. Mm, We're supposed to make the sound for a baby? Yeah, I did. Oh, thank you for that. The flavor is nice. I like the uh, nasi puti. I like the fried eggplant. It's nice. Yeah. 
So what do you think? Chicken had more flavor. Yeah, if I compare the two, uh, especially if you consider the price. Yeah. This food was nice. Yeah. It was good. I'd eat, I'd eat here. I'd eat this. Don't you enjoy this no more? Yeah, I enjoyed this. I have no problem eating this. The other one, I, I didn't have an appetite. I don't know why. Yeah. I didn't want to finish it. Maybe because I ate a whole shrimp head. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this one is. Uh, it's but nice. to be honest, bro, I enjoyed this one way more than the other one. Are you going to give a rating for this place too? This is a yeah. food truck, uh, Jalan Ampang. If I'm going to give this, I give this like 3.2. This is more than good. This is actually really nice. And if you compare, if you, if you think about the price, come on, man. And the price and the service and everything, you know, it's not like they come as a butler, you know, but they didn't do that in the pavilion. We have to get the things ourselves and carry it around, you know. And this was way more convenient, way more cheaper, way more taster. This beats the pavilion every day in the week. Once again, it's proven that the street food in Malaysia beats the restaurant things. I don't understand why people like go to the pavilion and such, but that's probably just because people want to be fancy and they like try to be, I don't know, westernized or whatever and want to be looking all fancy. I don't know. But this, this is the food you're looking for in Malaysia. I'm telling you. Bro, you need a wife who can cook this for you, man. Inshallah. I'm, Are you married? No. Chef? I'm single and ready to mingle. <laughs> Mingling is haram. Bro, I was just a, it was just joking stuff. Bro. The street food beats the pavilion every day in the week. You just gotta be honest, this is it, you know. And if you like what you see, you better subscribe, you better like, you better leave a comment, you better share. All right? Oh yeah! Right next to Harvey Norman factory outlet, Jalan Ampang, Ampang Point. In case anyone wants to try the food truck. Here's your review.